WNBA Swish player profile. We are very glad for our inaugural episode to be joined by Grace Van Sluten of the Oregon Ducks. I want to open up with something a little bit easy. You have a new director of athletic culture, Sabrina Ionescu. How has she mentored you? What has she taught you? What's it been like having her around? Um, I mean, it's been amazing. Everybody around here looks up to her so much. She's just kind of known as a legend around here. So to be able to have her there as a mentor, to be there, to ask questions, learn from her, um, it's just been amazing. And I mean, I think everybody really looks up to her as a role model. Um, she's been through what we've all been through, what we're going through. So, you know, she's just a great person to be there for you whenever you need someone to talk to. She uh, fun and uh, informative when she teaches you guys? or? Oh, yeah, always. Uh, after the North Carolina game, I mean, she came in, told us what she saw, what happened in the game, um, everything like that. So she's just a great person to have around. Well, you can uh, compete against her in the WNBA one day, huh? Yeah, hopefully. That's the plan. Speaking of that, you do plan if uh you know you're able to to go into the pros continue oh yeah for sure yeah that's definitely the plan a few more years yes who's your uh biggest influence who'd you look up to basketball wise or just in general basketball wise of course well uh anybody 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 i'd say relating back to basketball one of my biggest influences is my dad um, I mean, he started me in basketball. He was my coach for three years, and he's just really been one of those people that sticks by my side, is there for me. Um, you know, he just helped me a lot, gave me a lot of good advice, pushed me when I needed to be pushed. So I'd say that's definitely one of my most influential people basketball-wise. Where did you first fall in love with basketball? Like, what got you with into it more than other sports? Um, I would probably say around fifth grade. I started playing in fourth grade um, and I was actually more uh, more of a soccer player than I was basketball. Um, but I don't know. I just kind of fell in love with it, um, figured out that I thought I could be pretty good at it and I just stuck with it. And eventually it just was pretty much anything, everything I did. It's a little funny because I know both Brina and um, Courtney Vandersloot, two of your coaches grades, they started in soccer too and thought that's how they were going to go and look where yeah, they are. Yeah, soccer, yeah, it was my main sport up until about sixth grade. And then I chose basketball over soccer. Did you have a growth spurt or were you kind of always taller? I was always taller, but I would say I really grew a lot. Like going in, like eighth grade, going into freshman year, I really had a growth spurt. Um, but I was always pretty tall compared to everybody else. Same here. There's not really many <laughs> six foot. There's not really many six foot two, six three soccer players. No, not at all. <laughs> not too many. Look up to like player wise and like who'd you watch team wise? You had any favorite um, team? Yeah. Well, I like to watch people like Elena Deladon. Um, I think I played kind of similar to her. Um, also, Katie Lou Samuelson from UConn. I always watched them and just watched how they played. Uh, Brianna Stewart's another one. So just people who I can model my game after, take notes from, anything like that. So you were a big UConn fan? No, I wouldn't say I was a UConn fan, but, I mean, UConn was a powerhouse. And, I mean, I think at some point everybody loved UConn. I know you're from Toledo, right? Mm hmm Transitioning to moving across the country, kind of, you know, did you have any adjustment issues? Like, how did that go for you? Um, so I actually did my senior year at IMG Academy in Florida. Um, so that helped me a lot moving out to Oregon. So I'd already kind of figured out how to kind of live on my own, do my own laundry, do my own grocery shopping, uh, be responsible for myself, time management, everything like that. So um, I would say doing that year at IMG Academy really was like really good for me and helped me a lot. What made you uh, go to IMG for senior year? Um, it was actually to prepare for college, and it was actually kind of my, one of my ways. I was still deciding between schools, so it was kind of a way to see if I could go far from home and like, or if I was going to get homesick and stuff like that. So uh, mainly to prepare for college. And you love yeah. it so far living in Oregon? Oh, I love it. That's no good. complaints. 
I've seen some of your TikTok dance videos, so looks like y'all are having fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have a lot of fun. What other uh, hobbies do you have? Do you, you know, do one around campus or whatever? Um, uh, I mean, pretty much, I just spend a lot of time with my roommates. We'll just go drive around, go get food, go to the mall, pretty much anything, you know, no, normal, normal fun stuff. Hey, Sean, normal they college play, Sean, stuff. They play, Sean, they play pickleball. Pickleball. I have played pickleball a couple times. I knew we had it. Jackie. We had Jackie Styles on. Um, I don't know if you ever heard of her. It's been a little bit of time, you know, before your day when she was on. But we were interviewing her, and she said that's all she does now is play pickleball. Really? Yeah. yeah. We're our team. Uh, we've had a couple pickleball competitions, and I actually made it to the championship. So somebody you beat know, you. Not trying to brag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, okay. what's the biggest part of your game that you want to grow? Do you think needs the most improvement? Um, I would probably say my three point shooting. I think that's what needs the most work. So just continuing to expand my game and be more versatile than I am. So, yeah, probably three point shooting. You think you uh, see yourself becoming like a stretch four? Yeah, definitely. That's the plan. Elena has been pretty good at that. She has. Very good. The second year she came into the league, I was at a game, and uh, I think they were facing Phoenix. Sky were down by one. She made, like, this turnaround fadeaway, sort of half fadeaway, half hook layup thing. Didn't look like it was going to go in, and it did, and the whole place just oh. went. Yeah, she's got to You got to be at least, like, 6'3", six, 6'4", six, to even have a chance to defend her. So, um, mm-hmm. yep. What part of your game are you proudest of? Like, what do you do the best? Do you think rebounding, uh, scoring, what? Um, I think probably being able to get a rebound and then push it down the floor, you know, like not always having to look for an outlet or stuff like that. Um, just being able to also dribble and I think make high IQ decisions. Mini Brianna Stork. Okay. I like there you that. go. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. Well, no, I mean, it's not a kiss butt thing, but your game's just been incredible to watch. And, uh, you know, seeing you do so much so early, you know, handle pressure well. You know, there's a handful of players like that in the country. So, you know, kudos for that. Thank you. Appreciate no, it. You're, no problem. How about what's a fun fact about yourself that people may not realize? Um, a fun fact, I know how to juggle. Really? So course, I, I consider that pretty fun. Yeah. Is it like a frequent thing that you do? I mean, it's not frequent, but anytime somebody asks what my fun fact is, that's always my number one. Apparently my Candace Parker can juggle too. Oh, really? Yeah, apparently. Salute, Salute can do a Rubik's Cube. I can't do that. I've tried so many times. I've never been able to figure it out. We're not going to do that ever again. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to do a quick thing, a little player profile. And uh, thank you so much for joining us, Grace. Grace Van Sluten, tune into the Oregon Ducks. Thank you.